Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a bare knuckle brawler and former UFC featherweight competitor, fighting out of Pompano Beach, Florida, Marcus the Yoga Ninja Brimage. His opponent fights out of the red corner, a hard hitting world class pillow pugilist. He represents Delray Beach Boxing Club. Fighting out of Palm Beach County, Florida, by way of Greeley, Colorado, Philip Umba. Frogger, are you Frogger, Frogger? There you go. That's what, that's what Marcus Brimage is going to have to do. But he's quick. Marcus Brimage is a very quick dude, very fast paced, and most importantly, you know, he's a yoga instructor, so he's very flexible. He's able to really bob and weave. Look at that. He he's hitting it more like an axe pillow shot, if you want to call it, following up with a 360 degree move. And you're going to see some really flashy moves for Marcus. I've seen some of his training where he jumps around, very flashy. As he's coming at Amba here in the first round, as he's just swinging that pillow around. Look how he dodged that beautifully from Marcus. Man, Mar Marcus is just game, man. It, 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 he, listen, this is a professional fighter, and he knows the technique how to dodge the bullet, it doesn't matter how tall. You gotta remember that when you're a fighter, they do pair you up sometimes with guys that are twice your size, twice your weight, just to find a few of the force. So he's used to this stuff in the training. He knows what it is to do in there, to push yourself to the next limit. Well, Pravage is uh, throwing that pillow around like it's a windmill as he's using that to his advantage to just kind of distract Amba and not sure where it's exactly going. And then Pravage also able to dodge all the just shots that Amba was throwing at him as the first round ends here at the PFC. He has to come at him. I mean, he just literally has to cut him. He has to cut the corners because that's what Marcus is doing. Look, very flashy, just for the set though. A speedy 360 degree move did not connect and hit him in the back, but Marcus is just so quick. Anba needs to keep his cool. Yeah, he has the power, but he has to cut Marcus in those angles when he's moving if he wants to strike. Oh, and nice. Both fighters connecting at the same time for a big swing with the pillow. You know, Anba trying to avoid at all costs all these shots that he's taking to the body. It seems like Fromage has been the aggressor in this first round and a half. And notice, and Anba knows he has the height advantage. He doesn't keep up his arm to protect himself. See how he keeps it down? But don't sleep, Anba, because Marcus is coming right at you. Do not judge a book by its cover, because in my book, Marcus is winning this thing. I would tend to agree with you as he has just been really lights out so far. And we are almost at the end of this two round fight as Ramaj comes swinging back with the backhand and just puts Anba on the back end of the ring. And that is going to end the fight as the two fighters embrace. But what a performance by Marcus Bramage showing that, hey, he may be small in stature, but that does not mean anything when it comes to PFC fighting. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards, advancing to the Elite Eight, your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Marcus the Yoga Ninja, Brimage.